I'm going to show you how to fix a uh, wobble on a chain ring. If you watch just really very closely, the chain ring goes slightly in and out as I rotate around. Uh, this becomes more pronounced while I'm actually riding under torque and the chain will come in and rub against the derailleur. Um, so I'll show you how to fix that. You want to start off by removing the drive side crank. Pop the little dust cap off there. And with a ratchet wrench, and this is a 14 millimeter socket. Um, depending on what type of cranks you have, the process may be a little bit different. <clears throat> okay, once you get that uh, bolt loosened, it should come off pretty easily. Now I'm going to use a crank puller, so I'm just going to thread this in by hand, be sure not to cross thread it. Uh, okay, there we go. And just kind of screw, put that in by hand, and then screw this part in. Get a big wrench on this part, and then get a Another wrench on this part. And then you're going to tighten this part in there until you feel it break loose. And then you probably want to go ahead and pull the chain off. It's helpful to have the derailleur in the low gear, in the lowest gear so it's the inside. Now you go ahead, um, just pull that off, and pull the, the crank off. And then go ahead and remove the crank puller off. Okay, the other arm is hanging down, and so this crank arm would be going up. So we're going to go ahead and do a little mark. Take a felt tip marker, just put a little line on there, just showing this was the side that the crank originally went. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and try the other three positions around. This is a square uh, spindle here. So we're going to try the other uh, three directions. So just go ahead, slide the crank arm on with a rubber mallet. Just tap it on. Get the chain out of the way. Now rotate the crank around and watch the chain ring compared to the derailleur, how much it goes in and out. That's a little bit better than it was. So now I want to go ahead, pull this back off again. This shouldn't be too hard until I just tapped it on there. Pull this off. Okay, now try the next position. Tap it on. Get the chain out of the way. Rotate it around. Look to see how much the chain ring goes in and out. Oh, that looks pretty good. And I'll try the fourth position. Rotate it around, and that's got a bit of in and out. Pull the crank off. I think it was the second position was the best, which was 180 degrees from the original position. That seemed to be the best. So. This is 180 degrees from the original position. I'll pop that on. Tap it on with the hammer. Put the bolt in.
Put the chain back on. Check it, see how it looks. Looks pretty good in there. Now I just need to pull the other crank arm off and switch it so it's 180 degrees from this. Put the dust cap on and I'm done.